This is a recording to demonstrate how EMIS will integrate with BlackPair to create new EPAX records in Somerset. I'm here using a test patient and as you can see I've got a patient consultation open. I now go down to the bottom of the screen and as you can see click on Pyrusium and load the patient that I'm currently looking at within the EMIS system. I can see that this patient doesn't have a record so by going to the plus icon I can create a new record and it will load the form. Expanding on that you can see that I need to declare that I've informed the patient that we're creating a record and that it will be shared. I'm then prompted to insert the end of life care diagnosis which in this case is going to be congestive heart failure and I click on the save tab at the bottom. I'm then prompted to add whether there's a DNAR decision and at this point I'm going to say that they are still for resuscitation and I click that and save. As you can see at the top of the screen the mandatory elements have all been completed and that could now be saved and closed with additional details to be added later. So that's taken under one minute. But looking through the form, we can see that it's in that space of time loaded the patient's details. Below that we have the GP's details. That's all been automatically entered and I'm saving that. It's also included details of the patient's general condition and you'll notice that it's brought through the other significant problems here. That's all been done automatically. Additionally medication has also been brought through as well as adverse reactions. I could if I wanted to add further information at that stage and we have added a section around the step and we could fill that out as well. I'm choosing not to on this occasion to demonstrate that the system is as quick as it really is. I now click on save and I'm returned to the Pyrus Black Pair software. I'm at this stage going to click on save and that then posts the record for visibility by other people but it also posts back to the clinical system. So if I now go back to EMIS and look in the care history I can see as I reload the patient's record that further information has been loaded and that there is now a PDF attachment there's a review of a care plan and this has all been read coded back into the EMIS system that they're on a life care register, end of life care register, that they are for cardiopulmonary resuscitation and here is an attachment that will be visible by others such as the out of hours service uh, those who have access to EMIS viewer and that's extensive record of all the information that's in there laid out in a PDF format as you can see summarizing the current state of that record. I can close that and return to the consultation and save it. So all in all a new fairly detailed history and record has been created for this patient in approximately 60 seconds. Obviously that can be then be added to at a further date if there's further information available or further developments. It's as easy as that.